Zaga Teppo, he's going for the, he's going for the kill. That looks so awesome. This is what he used to kill Master Masculine. Well, we're finally here, um, about three hours later than I'd like to be, thanks to Disney Plus taking a million years to upload the episode for some reason, but we are here all the same. Um, episode 33 of the Thousand Year Blood War arc, titled Gate of the Sun, is here at last, and I think it is about time to finally see what all of the hullabaloo surrounding Renji is. Um, he's featured prominently in the new opening, if you can really even call it the new opening anymore, I don't know, and he was the star of last week's poem too. So, yeah, I'm very excited. A new fight does seem to be on the cards, I would imagine, but regardless, I can't wait. Um, it's also our first full episode in Varvelt. If you haven't seen my last video, where I listed 10 changes that I wanted to see made in the Varvelt arc, make sure to check that out when you're done here too. Right, shameless plugs aside, let's get on with this reaction and enjoy the episode together a little later than I wanted. Hopefully it'll be out around the same time, but as always, I'll be watching this episode from the perspective of someone who has read the Thousand Year Blood War arc in its entirety, so expect potential spoilers in the video to come. And when you're done with this video, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more from me and the channel, then make sure to hit subscribe as well, as it really does help me out, and I really do appreciate the support. Right. With that all done, it's time for episode 33 of the Thousand Year Blood War Arc of Bleach, titled Gate of the Sun. Okay, rise of the central fortress again. This is a really awesome visual. Very fitting soundtrack as well, the kind of blaring trumpets. That's cool, panning round, taking us up to a tower. This is new. The sh oh, the Schutzstoffel, new Schutzstoffel scene, potentially. That's incredible, the absolute scale of Varvelt. <laughs> and there's the Gate of the Sun. Whoa, the music's kind of getting going already. This is cool. Le okay, a new introductory scene for the Schutzstoffel members. This is what I like to see. Very happy to see this. How on earth did Pernida's eyes just create a Quincy Cross? There's my boy, fixing his hair, love that. What is going on with Pernida's eyes? This, this is a good start. <laughs> oh, we're actually seeing a gate of the sun being used for the very first time. This is the first time we've ever actually seen one activate. That was also a very cool line by Yu Harbach. Wow, they just kind of teleport. That's really, really cool. Okay, that was an awesome start. <laughs> a new introductory scene for the Schutzstoffel. That's, and they're addressed by Yu Harbach personally as well. That's very cool. Um, hearing Yu Harbach say Askin Naklavar wasn't on my bingo card for today. They kind of just teleport. That's really neat, actually, seeing the Gate of the Sun being used like that. I love that they just disappear in a flash of blue. That's very, very cool. Uryu as well, actually a part of them officially is really nice to see. Now, one thing that I do wonder, this is just immediately coming to me while we're letting the opening play out. If that's the Gate of the Sun, then what is the weird purple or like pink circle thing in front of Hashwolf from the trailer? What is that? Because uh, everyone speculated, myself included, that that was a Gate of the Sun. If it's not, what is it? That's very intriguing to me. Very intriguing. Um, man, I'm excited. I, I've already, I feel this is going to be good. Uh, I'm very, very, very hyped. <laughs> okay, so this is from 629, I think. We are back to the manga now. I always loved that shot in the manga of Kisuke and Kyoraku looking at the fortress. There's a really cool sense of depth to it. I'm still not sure how I feel about the entirety of the final battle having this purple hue. Oh, okay, the stern Ritter, we have no intentions of working with you. Makes total sense, I guess. Wow, look at all those shitty Gabby together. That's really cool. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, it does make sense for them to part ways, but at the same time, you would think the stern Ritter would see value in numbers. That's cool, though, them just disappearing into the shadows like that. If they're making a beeline right for the throne room, like they do in the manga, then you feel like they could have told them about it. <laughs> Grim Joe's being all edgy. <laughs> he can't quite get, um, doesn't really feel the whole friendship vibe. <laughs> See, it's weird seeing shots like that where they're running, but there's only a few of them there. Like, where's everyone else? Here comes Myri. The artwork is great on Myri's face there. It, I feel like it's pretty good already, this episode. So again, that's, that's promising. Yeah, Myri looks diabolical. I love that. <laughs> he looks great. We don't have that much longer with the sunsuit either, so make the most of it. 
<laughs> they kept Myri's brilliant reaction face. <laughs> that's, just, that's great. <laughs> oh, that's weird. What is that supposed to be? That's supposed to be a different part of the lab, perhaps? One that's not covered in... I don't know what that, that looked weird. Okay, and Hanataro has come up with them. Okay, okay. A nice bit of banter between Kenpachi and Myri, again, taken straight from the chapter. I love them actually just squaring off like that. <laughs> no one's bothering to do anything about it either. <laughs> I love the little shots of everyone kind of just running off. <laughs> okay, this is new, talking about meeting up with Renji and Rukia. Oh, they can't use soul phones either, that's interesting. I actually really do think the Varvelt landscape looks awesome. It's a really cool arena. Okay, so Grimjo has actually kept up with them like he does in the chapter. He was just being all edgy about taking off in the first place. I like him doing, I like him doing his little jumps over the, uh, over the rooftops. <laughs> and of course, yep, yeah, there he is. Askin, looking cool. <laughs> and he gets attacked, yep. Yeah. I, I do kind of wonder if there's going to be a new fight here between these characters. Oh, okay. Oh, so now we have the Gerard scene. Isn't this from chapter 635? So we have done what I thought they might do and potentially skip ahead. So we've skipped over the Friends saga, which I'm still anticipating. I thought that, okay, this shot of Basby and the others is exactly where I thought the episode was going to end. So that's intriguing. I was just about to say that they're, that they're saving Friend for the end of the episode, but maybe not. There's the red portal! So that's not a gate of the sun. Like I just mentioned a minute ago, presumably. What's going on? <laughs> the odyssey of Askin running now. <laughs> Askin running looks absolutely hilarious. <laughs> this looks really good. I don't know why, it just does. The character art is really nice this week. <laughs> Askin kind of running backwards. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> They've kept all of Askin's lines in, as they should. Oh, and of course, Grimjo's new ability. I do wonder if this is going to get explained at all. He kind of seems to be, okay, so he's using it to, like, lunge forwards. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And now this is 635 again. Yeah, so we have skipped ahead. They have collapsed them together. I did think they might. I did think they might. Which means this whole little section is going to be asking running jokes. <laughs> Cafe Ole! <laughs> oh, they've kept in all of Askin's comedy moments. I'm a big fan of that. Oh, yeah, the gift ball. Askin's voice actor is so good. So good. Oh, so that's where that preview shot was from. Askin could be like running back in to, <laughs> to, get, to check out the fallen Grim Joe. <laughs> Oh, I knew that shot was going to be there. Yep. And isn't that kind of hilarious that Grim Joe's just down? So now this is the rest of 635. Wow, Leal has an actual reticule in the shape of his tattoo. That's awesome. Uh, we're going to say goodbye to a certain character now. Wow, he really didn't last very long. In fact, that's kind of crazy to think about. We're on episode 33. Hisagi is going to be out of this now for the rest of the series, probably. Leal taking the, the intake of breath before he makes the shot. That's awesome. Hisagi is down. There was Soifon. Uh, um, oh, look, Amida and uh, Kione have gone back. This is new, I think, isn't it? Oh, Amida's down! <laughs> oh. Kione's just, like, dead. Blasted straight through. I mean, that was straight through the middle. Isani and... This is savage. At least we actually get to see them taken out, though. I, I, uh... That's cool. Now there's no ambiguity as to these people being around. And Omida actually makes it randomly to the Gerard fight in the... Oh. In the manga. That was... That was brutal. Like, seeing Isane just, like, blasted through the back like that and then kind of just flying to the ground. Crazy stuff. It's a little bit of a shame. You know, you might hope for a little more out of characters like that, but most of the vice captains are now gone. Renji versus Uryu, here we go. There is the shot from the trailer. I love how quietly Renji says raw. Like, he doesn't necessarily want to be doing this, but calling him Quincy, I mean, that's pretty cool. How are we at the key cards? 
How are we halfway through? Um, uh, so far, the main, the craziest scene has been seeing them get sniped like that. And also, Soifon was not sniped, which gives me a hope that they are going to keep her around to actually do stuff. Oh, Renji like wants to find out for sure before they fight that Uryu is actually bad. This looks really nice, by the way. Oh, Uryu telling Uryu telling Renji that Yuhabark's ha Uryu telling Renji that Yuhabark has absorbed the Soul King is new info to Renji. Is he like stealthily feeding them intel? Now he's asking him if he's come across Ichigo. I think it's easy it's easy to forget that these characters do have history, but. Obviously, they fought side by side to take on Xyloporo. We are actually getting a new Renji fight. And a new Uryu fight. I mean, Uryu's just been getting new fights like there's no tomorrow. I like this little fountain feature that Yuhabark's created. So, Zabimaru, this is from the trailer. This is where the Bankai comes in. Wow, the animation is really nice. This is awesome. Zazeka, that's a new ability. So that's kind of like his old Shikai. That's neat. Or his Shikai, I guess. Orochio. I'm pretty sure he uses that against Master Masculine, but I'm not. Why does this look so incredible? Why? Renji just like sending the arrow upwards with his foot. Renji's Bankai is doing all kinds of crazy stuff right now. Apparently he can blow stuff up with it. Uryu using Leaked Reagan. This looks absolutely incredible. That's cool. Renji blocking Leaked Reagan with the giant ape arm is, is really awesome. And sending Uryu flying with just like a wave of energy. Well, you know, a shock wave of air, essentially. I like, I like that there is an essence of Hihio Zabimaru with this Bankai now. That actually is really awesome. Wow, he's got him pinned. I was thinking at the start of this that Uryu is now taking on Zero Division members. This is a whole new look at Renji's Bankai. And this looks so good as well. I hope that, I, I would, I really hope that Rukia's Bankai gets a little something like this too at some point. Zaga Teppo, he's going for, the, he's going for the kill. That looks so awesome. This is what he used to kill Master Masculine. Wow, Renji doesn't appear to be pulling his punches, unlike Ichigo. And the blue vein. Is Volston Dish coming again? I don't think I need to, um... Volston Dish again! I don't think I need to be the one who tell, to tell you that this is all brand new. That is an awesome shot of Hashwolf. Again, Hashwolf looking all sinister. <laughs> oh, only the base version. Only the base version of his Volston Dish. But he can still use the Sinbon Zakara attack. Oh, we're creating one giant arrow out of them is pretty badass. This is going way harder than it has any need to be, but I love it. Oh, wow, the, the, the fur and the flesh is gone off his arm. Now it's just... Now it's just skeletal, but the fur is a trap. Another new ability. That's, that's cool. So is Renji trying to kill him or I'm told I need 20 seconds. Renji definitely doesn't seem to have the same, um, he's not, he doesn't seem to be holding back in the same way Ichigo was. Wow, more training with Ichibei. I don't, I cannot, I, I can't believe how crazy this, this core has been so far. I, I think it's pretty clear cut that part three has been like everything we want and more right now. And this just looks so nice. So look, there, it, that's basically Hihio Zabimaru, I love that. And he's swinging it in his hand. Zaga Zyko? What is this? You know, the absolute craziest thing about this, Renji basically nuking a massive portion of Varvelt, is just how little power did he use to kill Master Masculine. And Master Masculine was beating the snot out of two Vizard captains. I feel like they're about to run into Pernida, Kenpachi and Myri. <laughs> Seeing Myri like going for a jog in his uh, sunsuit make it is pretty funny. Are we back with Askin? This is new. Askin versus Grim Joe. I'm telling you. 
He looks totally badass there as well, just saying. I'll kill you all, both you and Kurosaki. You might be onto something there. You might be onto something there. This is cool. No! I... I... No, they're cutting away. They cut away. I... I... Said it. Didn't I say it last week? Ichigo and Grimjo versus Askin. If that actually happens, that will be incredible. Even if it doesn't happen, if this is an Ichigo versus Askin fight, this is where they will show him being turned into a rug. I'm telling you, if they do it. I need to pay attention to what's happening because Uryu is now using Sklavorai. So now he's getting the version of his Volstom dish that he had against Ichigo. So how did he activate it initially? In their fight, Fede Zvinga. He's got another new ability. <laughs> The entire second half of this episode has been totally new content so far. What is this power? Reggie's getting, like, blended or something. It can extract spiritual pressure. That doesn't sound particularly fair. My ability to extract Reishi will deprive you of all that you are. That's broken. Wow, he's actually, like, really hurting Renji. This is, this is tough. This is a good pairing, though, because they are acquaintances they have fought side by side before so there is something there emotionally however they aren't really friends per se damn Renji's down with no Bankai or anything so already you could steal Bankai technically although he's not stolen him you know what I mean don't talk like you know Bankai Quincy wow Renji has not said his name once which I think is quite telling he's doing it again even though he doesn't so has Renji lost his Bankai now the skeletal arm is coming out of Renji's arm? I assume that's because Hikots Taiho, he can still do that. That's pretty cool. Oh, but it's very weak. Uryu is on a killing spree. Somebody stop this. I don't know how many more of these episodes I can take with Uryu shooting someone through the, through the chest. I mean, there's no way... Blummin' headphones keep coming out of these moments. There's no way Renji is dead. You are a soul reaper that I despise. Wow. There's no way Renji's dead. What if Rukia finds him next week and then uses Haka no Togame? <laughs> oh my god. It's gotta stop. It's it's gotta stop doing this to me, man. That was so good. Varvelt is gonna be insane. This is the first episode. That Renji versus Uryu fight was way better than it had any like right to be. That was seriously awesome. So many new abilities. They are going to, I, th I think they're going to change the end of this arc like you wouldn't believe. Ichigo and Grimjo potentially versus Askin, or at the very least Ichigo versus Askin. If they actually turn that into a semi-proper fight, that would be so cool. At the very least, I think we'll see Askin trying to dodge Ichigo and then hitting him with a gift ball or something and bringing him down. But Ich- Ichigo arriving to help Grimjo in the first place is awesome. What an awesome concept. Like Renji trying to feed out how evil Uryu actually is. You know, have you met up with Ichigo? Oh, man. And the poem for next week is Myri? Episode 34, Baby Hold Your Hand. What is going on? Basby and the other Sternritter are already at Silburn. When is friend happening? That's the end. That's the end of the episode. Okay, so next week is Myri versus Pernoda. Presumably with some additional bits, I assume Ichigo scenes, maybe something like that. What is going to happen to Renji now? I can't believe how savage that scene at the start was as well with everyone getting sniped. Leal Barrow just got a major kill streak. And, like, that was so brutal as well. I'm just going to go quickly have a look at that scene again. Because I feel like I kind of flew by a little bit. It is kind of funny that so many of these characters, these, like, secondary characters, go up to the Soul Palace. A big deal is made out of it, and then they just get sniped immediately. Right, yeah, here we go. So, Hisagi just gets blasted. Omaida and Kione run back towards him. Omaida then just getting coldly taken out is really brutal. And then a bullet just goes straight through the back of Kione. Just that, her heart is basically gone. Blood comes out of her mouth. She's like, so, so certain characters obviously have to survive to make it to Gerard. Isane just getting blasted through the back and going flying as well. That's crazy stuff. I, that's a really awesome scene. What a wonderful way of depicting that. It is kind of crazy that so many of these characters have been taken out so early is perhaps the only thing. 
Um, but wow, yeah, that's cool stuff. Really, really awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, fan that's just fantastic stuff again. Like, how do they keep doing this? I have no idea. But that was really, really awesome. Do I think we're gonna have to end it there? We're gonna have to end it there. I'm gonna collect my thoughts, come back to you guys for the review, which is gonna be a lot of fun. Do let me know down in the comments below, as always, what did you think of this week's episode? I'm assuming you probably loved it, and I mean, even if you're a Renji fan, even with him getting seemingly killed at the end here, I'm, I'm assuming you probably loved it. Because that was a very similar shot to what Uryu did to Senju Maru. That was not a I'm gonna spare you shot like he did to Ichigo. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Okay, I'm gonna sign off before because I'm just gonna get totally lost in my thoughts that, um... You know, it's just, it, I mean, that's just crazy. I, I, mean, I, I can't really fathom what I just saw in many ways. I love that they keep doing this, but, <laughs> but um, yeah, no, really, really awesome. I think it was absolutely fantastic. I can't express it enough. One of the craziest episodes to date. Really fantastic. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know if you liked the episode or not. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I want to say a big thank you to my wonderful supporters over on Patreon, without whom I simply wouldn't be able to keep doing this. And as always, if you want to support me on Patreon too, at the $1 tier a month, you can get your name in the credits of every video just like this. And for $2 or higher, you can get every single video I release absolutely free of baked in YouTube ads. Um, yeah, as always, guys, I really, really appreciate you watching. Thank you so, so very much. And again, I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Wow, it's just absolutely awesome stuff. Um, yeah, until then, I'll, I'll, I'll see you then.